freezing is becoming more and more popular. Women may not think that they're going to get pregnant for a while. They want to preserve their career. They can't find a partner. They haven't found a partner who's interested in having a child uh, and, or that they can trust. And so more and more women are fearful, correctly fearful, that by the time they're ready to have kids, they'll be 39 years old and their eggs won't be very good anymore. And uh, so I recommend that they have their eggs frozen in their 20s, really, if they want to be secure. But we were the first to actually bring uh, egg freezing to the United States. And it, it was a terrible procedure that didn't work with the old freezing methods. With vitrification, which is an ultra-fast freezing method, we showed that we can successfully freeze eggs and get babies from them. And there have been studies showing that you can freeze your eggs uh, and have babies 15 or 20 years later from those frozen eggs. But it's not as good as fresh eggs. There's a lower pregnancy rate, and there are clinics that are advertising it, doing it commercially, and they really aren't doing a great job. I'll show you with motions. The difference between, say, having a high success rate with the frozen eggs is when you take it out of the liquid nitrogen and you put it in the warm petri dish at 37 degrees, if you do it like that, it'll be too slow and your eggs will die. You have to do it like that. And you have to do it delicately. So the difference between that and that is the difference between having a success and not a success. So vitrification is, is really a dramatic breakthrough and we were among the team that developed it uh, and brought it to America in 2003. But if you can't change the protocol, you can't improvise from the laborious trial and error technique that cryobiologists in Japan used to perfect it, and you just have to stick with that trial and error protocol. And if you try to improvise, uh, then it's not gonna work. And I just saw a patient today that was just tragic. She was thinking ahead, and at age 34, she went to a big clinic to have her eggs frozen, and she had many eggs frozen at 34 when she was younger and they were good eggs. 40, at age 42, she came back to have the eggs thawed and none of them worked. She didn't develop a single good embryo from all of those eggs. And so there's gonna be tragic heartbreak when women come back thinking they had security of frozen eggs and they find out their eggs were either not frozen well or even if they were frozen well, they weren't thawed properly. So. It's a tremendous boon, but you gotta worry about the commercialization of it and uh, a, a uh, over uh, confidence and security. So an, a study done in Spain by a very good uh, egg freezing program in Spain showed that uh, if you wanna really have a 97% chance of having a baby from your frozen eggs, you better freeze 40 eggs. And even then a few women it won't work for obviously, but uh, that's a lot of eggs, that means uh, three or four cycles of IVF type stimulation to retrieve those eggs and freeze them. If you just think one cycle is gonna be adequate, it won't be. And if you're gonna do it, you should do it when you're young rather than when you're older.